Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about grade 7 fourth lesson is functions of water. Before starting this video, I like to give some introductions for you. So, the first introduction is main functions of water. Under that, we learn several we learn several topics. So, first topic is solvent property of water, core property of water, and water as a medium of life. So, uh, let's see the first function is solvent property of water. So, water exists three forms. First one, solid, ice, liquid, water, gas, water vapor. So, I like uh, some questions from you in this video. My first question is, uh, what is the meaning of this solvent property? So you can see my screen. So this is the meaning of uh, solvent property. Let's see. Water has a valuable property for survival of organisms. It is known as the solvent property of water. So uh, this solvent property is very important for our day-to-day -day life okay so next uh, is my second question is why the sea water has a salt taste why it is because any salts are dissolving the sea water so my third question is how do fish get oxygen to breathing water so you know fish are living inside the water so they use oxygen that dissolving water so uh, let's do an activity to show how water is important as a solvent so let's see so you can see some substances white sugar glucose condis crystals surgical spirit coconut oil laundry blue paraffin wax kerosene common soil, vinegar, turmeric powder, hamper ball, sodium bicarbonate. So let's see the observations. So white sugar, what is the oxidation for that? Sugar crystal disappeared. Solution is colored. Let's see what happened to glucose. It fully dissolved in water and make a transparent solution. Next one, condensed crystals. It dissolved well. Surgical spirit dissolve well. Coconut oil does not dissolve well. Laundry brew particle dissolve. Crapping wax particle dissolve. Kerosene is not dissolved. Common salt is dissolved. Vinegar dissolve well. Turmeric powder particle dissolve. Camber balls not dissolve well. Sodium bicarbonate dissolve well. So, most of the above substances dissolve in water, but some dissolve a little and some do not dissolve in water. Through this activity, we can examine how some solids and liquids dissolve in water. Let's see the next part. Important of solvent property of water. So, the first one, to make drinks by dissolving sugar coloring and flavors in water. Next one, to dissolve salt and flavors to make food tasty. Third one, to dissolve concentrated acids in water to prepare buttery acid, artificial vinegar, etc. To dissolve medicine in water to produce vaccines and saline for purposes of health. Aquatic animals use oxygen that is dissolved to water to breathe. To remove dust on on clouds and body, use colored water for decoration purposes. Okay, let's see what is the next topic. Ah, it is the uses of separating materials in water. So you have given an activity. So you will need some uh, several materials to do this activity. Uh, you need common salt solutions, spirit lamp, a candle, and a lid of a tin. So you can see. Uh, we have to arrange this practical like this so you can see it very well. So, what is the method? We see, uh, see, put some common salt solution 
onto the lid and heat it as shown in this figure. So use a tripod and a wine spirit lamp or an empty bottle box of milk powder with the ventilator at the side and the lighted candle to heat it. So record your observations. So I record my observations. So the observation is some salt are made up. So what is the conclusion? We can separate material in water. So uh, you know different types of salts of minerals are dissolved in water. When rivers, streams and water valleys are flowing towards the sea. When this happens for a long period of time, sea water becomes salt. Thus, sodium chloride is the mineral salt that dissolves most in the sea water. Salt is produced from sea water by evaporating water exposed into the solar heat. So, this is the place where salt is made up. It is a salt. So, uh, next one, the juice in sugar cane contains saccharides dissolved in water. Sugar is produced by removing the water in sugar cane. So you can see some, uh, you can see a photo of sugar cane. You know, you eat that, no? Yes. So next one, a sugar solution can be extracted from coconut flour, which is known as sweet tonic. Teric, uh, trickle can be produced by removing some amount of water from this sweet tonic. If water is totally removed from sweet toddy, jaggery can be produced. Jaggery can trickle, jaggery and trickle can also produce from Thalmyra and Kitty trees. So you can see a coconut tree is used to get sweet toddy. Okay, uh, let's move to the next property is coolant property of water. So, okay, so this is the coolant property of water. Okay. So, how do you explain the cooling property of water? Let's see. Water can bear a large amount of heat. So, it absorbs the heat and reduces the heat of objects. Because of this feature, water is considered as a good coolant. Okay. So, it is the definition for coolant property. Okay. So, you know, uh, plants, animals want a uh, coolant property. So these diagrams shows actually of water in plants and animals as a coolant. Okay. So let's do an activity to show coolant property of water. So you can see the activity. Uh, so you will need for the activity two beakers of similar size, cotton, and two thermometers. So what is the method for this activity? Let's see. Get two beakers of similar size. Put same amount of cotton wool into both beakers as shown in this figure. So like that, keep two thermometers inside the beakers and get the readings. Put a little amount of water onto cotton wool in one beaker and keep for a few minutes. So get the readings of the thermometers and compare the readings. Okay, so what is the observation you can see in here? Temperature of the thermometer in wet cotton wool has been used. So you can clearly uh, see the method. Okay, so next one is uses of coolant property of water. The first property, uh, first use is by bathing body feels a cooling effect. Second one, when a hot milk bottle is placed in cold water, the bottle cools down. Third one, the water is put over a burning substance, flame is extinguished. The last one, we add radiant to cool down the engine. So these are the uses of coolant property of water. So, so you can see uses of water as a coolant in sweat. So water as a coolant, high temperatures, damaged tissues and denatures proteins, healthy enzymes to create to work. It takes a lot of energy for water to change temperature. This means 
that it will heat and cool more slowly than air or land. This is useful to animals in hot climates who can use water or mud to cool off in the hot day. Okay, so water makes up 70% of the body, including the blood, because it is resistant to temperature change. Cooler, cooler blood from some parts of the body can be circulated to other parts cooling them down. Okay? So, the last function is water as a medium of life. Okay, you see what happened? Okay, water as a medium of life, you know, water is a medium for life and water is a good habitat and there are different types of animals living water such as fish, amphibians, reptiles and mammals. So, uh, I think this is the end of my video. So, thank you for watching my video. So, goodbye.